Hey everyone, Richard Metal Fan here, bring you guys a uh, long-awaited CD collection update. I haven't done one of these in like almost three months, which is kind of crazy. And I've bought in a shitload of CDs. I have like 70 CDs I bought in the last uh, three months. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna comment on much. It's get really late. It's like 11:30 at night. Night. I'm just gonna blow through it all and not waste any time. But yeah, without further ado. Let's get started. First off, we have Abigail Williams, In the Shadow of a Thousand Suns. Some really great symphonic black metal. I'm really glad to own this album. After the Burial, Forging a Future Self. Now all, now all I need is Rare Form and I have their entire discography. I'm actually looking forward to seeing them next month at Warp Tour. <laughs> and before I'm called a faggot for going. It actually has a decent lineup, but anyway. Moving on. At the Skylines, that's... The Secrets of to Life, good metalcore. The Berserker, Animosity. Uh, Bleeding Through, Declaration. Some really great first wave of metalcore right here. It's a shame that these guys called it quits. Uh, next, then we have Caliban, The Opposite from Within. Really underrated metalcore band from Germany. I really wish they would tour the States so I could see them. Next uh, four CDs are all from the same band, and that'd be uh, Chelsea Grin. Well, I have all their full lengths. I already have their self titled EP and the Evolve EP, but we have Desolation of Eden, and as you can see, it's signed by the band. All of these are signed from when I saw them back in March. Uh, they were playing a good show. I got the Desolation of Eden, My Damnation signed, Ashes to Ashes signed, and their latest album, Self Inflicted, signed. All cool dudes, and they put on a killer show. Next up, we got Chimera, the self-titled, and uh, Resurrection. This is a special edition, which has a bonus DVD. With the, so yeah, now I have their entire discography. Next up, we got Cryptopsy with None So Vile, a really good classic death metal album, and it was really awesome to see this album performed in its entirety about a week or two ago. Oh. So, yeah, and I also got in another album of theirs, Whisper Supremacy, another classic album. Next to, uh, to I went from, this was a band that, well, I went from not having anything from them to slowly building up their discography. I think the last CD update had three other albums, but I got two other albums of theirs. That'd be Dark Tranquility, we got The Damage Done, and their latest album, Atoma, which I thought was pretty good. Looking forward to completing their discography soon, and I'm probably going to see them in September. Yep. yep. Darkest Hour, Hidden Hands of a Sadist Nation, under hugely underrated band. Check them out. Uh, next three CDs are all from the same band, and I don't even need to introduce this band. That'd be Deicide with Scars of the Crucifix. Next, these the the Stench of Redemption. Okay, this and Scars. I actually got it from Discogs from a guy in Russia. It took like fucking forever to get it, and I also got in uh, In the Minds of Evil. So yeah, yep. Yeah. Demon Hunter, The Triptych, The Devil Wears Prada, Dead Throne. Um, next up, I got a local band, which actually is my good buddy Kendall's band, which is a uh, Devil Wraith Sanctif Sanctification, which is just some uh, good. So it sounds very like symphonic black metal. If you're a fan of like like Cradle of Filth or Dimmu Gear, you might check like this. Next up we have the Dillinger Escape Plan, Opposite Paralysis. And since I mentioned Dimu a couple, couple seconds ago, I actually have three of their albums right here. I have Godless Savage Garden, Puritanical if Euphoric Misanthropia, and Death Cult Armageddon. I'm like three CDs away from completing their discography. I'm looking forward to the new album coming out this year, I hope, and I really hope they tour the States. Next up we have Dr. Acula, Slander, and a new 2017 album to show you guys. The new Dragon Force album, Reaching to Infinity, which I think is pretty good. And yes, I do like Dragon Force. Fight me. If you've seen this review, I actually like this album. And I'm probably going to see them next month. I haven't seen them in almost nine years, so it would be a great show. Now, breaking away from metal, we have Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP2. I mean, I might be metal as fuck, but I do listen to some Eminem. And especially the song Rap God. I mean, he's... It's just all fucking spitfire. I don't think he's human. Next up, we got Enterprise Earth with their new album, Embodiment. 
as I can see, it's signed by the band from when I saw them, them, uh, them about two, a couple months ago. Go and they were pretty good. It was my third time seeing them, and they're also cool dudes. We have "Every Time I Die" new junk aesthetic. So yeah, that's the one pile. Moving on to the next, next three albums are from the same band. That'd be Fear Factory. We got "Soul of a New Machine." Demanufacture, which in my opinion is still their best album, my favorite album of theirs, and Obsolete. Goat Whore, Carving Out the Eyes of God, just some really good brutal band. Then I got the new God Throned album, The World of Blaze, really great album. I need to get more God Dethroned at some point. God Forbid, Equal Ribrium, no wait, Earth's Blood, sorry, I keep, I fucked that up for some reason. Anyway, <clears throat> Excuse me. Gwar, Scum Dogs of the Universe. Great album of theirs. Also looking to see them next month at Work Tour. Sorry, it's just my voice kind of sounded weird. And we have Hate Breed, Supremacy. <coughs> no, two new 2017 albums to show you guys. First up, we have Havoc, Conformide. Some really great modern thrash. You should check this out. And I've got the new Immolation, Atonement. Really good album, a great follow up to uh, Kingdom of Conspiracy. We have Impending Doom, There Will Be Violence. And then we have In Flames, A Sense of Purpose. In my opinion, I think it's their last good album. I mean, their, the next album after that, Sounds of Fair on Thing, was decent, but I think this was their last really good album that just blew my mind. Next up, we got Job for a Cowboy with uh, Genesis and Ruination. Whoops, sorry about that. All right, uh, yeah, I got, now I completed their discography and I'm really hoping they get back together. It's been years. And the next three C's are all from the same band and that'd be Jungle Rot. I all got these all at their merch from when I saw them last week. We, this past weekend, we got Kill on Command, Terror Regime, and Order Shall Prevail. Need some Jungle Rot to my collection. Next up, King Conqueror, America's Most Wanted. Like Moths to Flames, When We Don't Exist. Next four CDs are all from the same band, and I actually won this on for a lot on eBay, but there was like, nobody bidded on this, and I pretty much bidded like the 35 bucks, I think. And after that, I'm like, I said I won, and I'm like, nobody bidded on this shit. Yep, and these are all from the same band, and I'm glad to own something from them finally. That'd be Marduk. We got the Fuck Me Jesus EP. Now, isn't that just a lovely piece of art right there? <laughs> yeah, it's just brutal. We, then we have Opus Nocturne, Plague Angel, and ROM 512. Ne got, next up, showing my home state love with Mastodon, Emperor of Sand. Really good album. For me, this band just never fails to, to deliver. Whatever. They just... They just get better and better with each album. I love this. Yeah. Moving on to the third and final pal. And the next four CDs are all from the same band. It's just some classic and death metal right here. We get, And I finally own something from this band. That'd be Morbid Angel. I have their first four albums. Altars of Madness. Blessed Are the Sick. Covenant. And Domination. It sucks when I saw them them a big last month. They a few weeks ago they didn't even play anything from those albums. It was mostly Steve Tucker stuff. I mean I like both, but those the Force Four are just obviously classics. But it was great to see Marvin Angel. Anyway, moving on, we got NWA straight out of Compton. Nothing else to say there. Just a classic rap album, pop. Oceano Contagion. Yeah, I finally own something for them. And I know they have a new album out, but I'm planning on getting that soon. We have Opeth, Deliverance. We have Origin, Informus, Infinitus, and Humanus. Uh, try saying that five times fast. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium, Arcadium. Just a cl I think this is them at their peak. I think this is a really good album. Shadows Fall, Retribution. Um, Slayer, God Hates Us All. I think... This is a pretty good album. It's decent. Soulfly, Prophecy. Uh, Stradivarius, Infinite. And we got Suffocation, Blood Oath. 
a good album. I'm looking forward to their new album tomorrow. I mean, I pre-ordered it through Nuclear Blast. I'm really hoping it comes in the mail tomorrow. Next up, we got <laughs> Tenacious D, the self-titled, and the Pick of Destiny. <laughs> Nothing else to say, really. They're just fun to listen to. Through the Eyes of the Dead, Bloodlust. So if we got uh, Vader, and I got these from when I saw them at the Earl. We got Welcome to the Morbid Reich and The Empire. And last but not least, we have Warbringer, Woe to the Vanquished. So yeah, that's my uh, CD collection for you guys. I know it took forever, but yeah, I just decided to like blow through it all and just no comment. So yeah, I hope I'll do another one soon whenever that will be. I probably won't take that long and try not to buy too much shit. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and keep it metal.